Hello YouTube, I hope everybody's doing great. First of all, thank you to all my backers and supporters on Kickstarter. It was successfully funded and now the campaign is over and I have the first tool received today that I'm going to use to drill countersink holes in this laser cut acrylic and uh, let's I just open it I didn't take it out yet and this is currently on sale for 78.82 US dollars and I will put a link in the description and if you use that I will get a few I don't know maybe 50 cent or a dollar or something like that as a commission which will help me to buy more stuff that I think will be useful to you as well. It's a mini drill, obviously, as you can see here in the background. And it does come in two variants. One has a 0 to 4 millimeter chuck, and the other has a 1 eighth of an inch, I think it is, um, a collect. I assume it's a collect. So without further ado, let's get to it. We have a chrome stainless steel rod. It does come with a power supply with a variable output. So you can, I have to use a U connect a converter here. So it has adjustable speed with a on off switch to a barrel jack connector and depending how long it's gonna take to put this together I will make maybe separate videos and a nice soft material to oops sorry about that with my camera uh, my phone yeah lots of protection very nice I saw this and I fell in love with it and look at that I mean <laughs> uh, some things as a guy my wife would say it's just metal <laughs> and uh, we guys of course especially the ones into tools love stuff like this and this goes into my mm, usable small machines like my uh, mini table saw that I have something else here uh, Allen key and uh, drill mm, chuck key I think it is so let's get this opened up and this is solid aluminum and look at the edges it's not just 90 degrees it's beveled how cool is that <laughs> even the even the the shaft holder look at that it's beveled at around the edges nice screws I have I guess I have to clean this up there and this is the drill itself it's like a miniature drill press look at that it is a beauty something is loose here Guess that has to be screwed in there. Bear with me, guys. Yeah. Oh, now I know what it is. If you look through that, that's the stop for the rod. And look how cleanly 
they milled out the spot to wire this to the connector. Let me pause it or stop the video and put it together and then I'll be right back. Okay, I could pause without stopping the video. And uh, a few things, uh, it's running right now. It has also a second um, rubber belt and uh, I have this cable on very short for the power supply so that's the furthest I can push it back. Um, let me unplug this and show you. So in order to tighten down the bottom part is you have to make sure that these two screws are loose a little bit so you can tighten it down once you have tightened it up here you can tighten the other two screws and uh, this is how it looks like this is so cool and this is a uh, brass LA yes even the this shaft here is brass and I touched it with my finger, <laughs> left the fingerprint. And this is so cool, you can adjust of course the height here. And guys, this is solid milled aluminum. Milled aluminum with beveled edges, milled aluminum, aluminum, brass, brass. Press. This is all milled, it's not pressed or anything. This is so cute and awesome. Just for as a reference. This is my mini table saw that I use to cut PCBs. Oops, almost lost it there. And uh, they just go beautiful together. I also have a mini belt sander. That's somewhere I will show you in the next video. I mean, with these three mini tools, you can work on your desk and, and do precision work. But this is so cool. And of course I have a tiny problem. This is what I intended to use to countersink the holes. I thought I did already some of those, but I didn't. Obviously this does not fit into this chuck. So I have two options. I can either put this in my lathe, turn the shank down to 4 millimeters and use this, or I could technically also use a 4 millimeter drill and uh, do the countersink holes with that. Um, here are actually all the, some of the screws that I will need to put the max drill together. And, but I think they have a 90 degree uh, head or counter sink sunk 90 degrees and a drill bit I think is 60 degrees if I'm not wrong if it's 90 degrees no problem I can just use four millimeters as the screw head is slightly less than four millimeters if I'm not mistaken yeah 3.7 so yes instead of Messing around with this, I can just use a 4mm drill, chuck it in here, put this over here. They have of course the protection paper on the acrylic and adjust this so it won't go too deep and just go like this three times and be done with because I have to make 200 of these drill holes, 200 by, by 3 holes and 600 holes. And now let me 
Let me power this thing up again with the very short cable. The power adapter I showed you has also a green LED on it that turns on and listen to this. That's the highest RPM. Absolutely enough. I love it. See how you can make old man happy? And they say the older you get, the more expensive your toys get. Not with this. Not with this. Awesome. And they go, they, they sell for way more money. Let me tell you. Um, some of them have a micrometer adjustment on the top. And you can put, and if you buy it like that, it's like 150 almost $180. And if you want that micro adjustment attachment, that goes for, I think, $26, $27. So if you buy it separate and just change it out, you take this screw out, you take the screw out of the of this piece and you get another one and you put the micro meter adjustment on it if you really need it precise um, you can use that you're still cheaper buying it like this and as I said it's on sale right now go get it guys if you drill anything like drilling PCBs or something like that It's awesome. It's awesome. Of course, it has a um, spring in it, so it goes back up. Obviously, absolutely beautiful. So, I <laughs> I have a new toy. So anyway, um, thank you again to all my backers, friends, supporters family like friends adam pete you know you you who you are and um by the way i did the unpacking with this otf knife adam my friend did buy two and he loved it and <laughs> he said he broke it the first five minutes what he did was he tried to punch a hole which you will make an indent but the blade this happens and this is not broken to fix this you just pull it pass the detent and it's done he did not know it and he did take it apart and figured out how to put it together and then he saw how to fix it so anyway if you're interested link in the description oh no yes link in the description but it's a regular link not an affiliate link but i want you to see my stuff that i buy and i only make advertisement for stuff that i buy and um, i did get sponsored with this nightcore battery pack and i will make a video of this as well Thank you Aliexpress for sending me this out. There's also a wire, a cable coming, short USB Type-C to USB Type-C. I'm waiting on that. And then I'm gonna make a video review on this little guy. 5000 milliamps. Thin as a sheet of cheese. <laughs> Not really. But anyway, so, and if you want to see some other stuff that I buy from Aliexpress, do subscribe to my channel click the notification bell you will get the notifications obviously and so you won't miss out this I can highly recommend I didn't drill anything yet but oh and uh, there is no play in here none whatsoever this is a mini chuck fitted and um, Drilling the countersink holes 
will not be work it will be fun <laughs> anyway thanks for all your support guys i really really appreciate it you you wouldn't believe how much i appreciate it and uh, i wrote to pete this is the successful campaign this is like the payback of my last the work that i did on the last 12 years since i'm selling gadgets on my tindy store and um, it just i'm happy very happy and um, i cannot wait to finish up all these max scrolls this is the breathing animation so you just know i made it silver colored i did try different um rgb values to not have it just white because to match the silver and single tap turns it off if you don't want it at night or whatever single tap turns it back on and you can scroll and this is just i don't know you will appreciate it once you get it and connect it to your pc and you do not have to do this you do not have to do this ever again just go like this it's so much easier it's easier on your finger believe me this is this gets into your finger so anyway i'm babbling because i'm excited i'm happy and um, can't wait to get it all started and ship it out and you guys having it and then i think i will make a second campaign and i will call it due to what was gonna say um popular request i'm running it again because you will if you only bought one you will buy more if you have if you like work at home on your pc and at work you will buy one more and if people see it and you show them please do they will want one as well comparing to the millions of pc users having on only hundred i think it was 170 uh, 47 backers yes 147 backers that's like a drop of hot no of, of water on a hot stone it's like pss, gone so this has so much more potential and only with your help will i get the people to see it to know about it because i did hire two companies for advertisement and uh, one didn't bring any result and the other brought sent newspaper uh, newspaper newsletters to 69,000 backers and i got eight backers out of them eight out of 69,000 so i don't know what they did who they sent the emails to but uh, it was a waste of time i'm in talks with another company i'm actually waiting for an email from them and uh, they're supposed to be better i hope so because i need the word out for this otherwise i mean i have only twenty thousand subscribers on my youtube channel which is like maybe 200 really watching and um i need your help to spread the word about the max scroll it is an awesome device you will love it i guarantee it so anyway thanks for watching if you made it this far take care everybody and i see you on the next video